Hello, this is Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com and today I'm here to talk to you about disappearing houses and horses. And one of the things that I love talking about, as most of you know, is reality shifts. And I got an amazing story from a woman in Norfolk named Becky in the United Kingdom. Uh, she told me about something that happened to her when she was driving with her two sons about a year and a half ago in a road near by her house and the three of them were just driving along when her youngest son said um, let's go here let's go straight instead of turning like they usually did to go look at some horses they all love horses so they went straight and they saw a very heavy set horse and a newer model house and some bags of horse muck and so forth for sale and they were all very excited to see this wonderful horse that they hadn't seen before so they went home and a while later, they said, uh, let's go back and see that, that beautiful horse in the new house that we'd seen before. And they went back to the same place, but it was not there. They couldn't find the new house. And this is within three miles of where they live, so it's not like um, they're unfamiliar with these roads that much. But they couldn't find any of it. And then a while later, when Becky was just driving on her own, she did come across uh, that same new house, the heavy set horse, everything, but it was on a different road. And this is now quite a while later. It's like a year, six months later after the first sighting. And so without saying a word, she got her sons in the car, drove them out to the countryside, showed them this amazing apparition, which is still there as far as I know, the new house with the heavy set horse and even the bags of horse muck for sale. Everything was there. And she wrote to me wondering how could it be possible that she could have seen all of this so much in advance of having it all show up again and have it appear on basically a different road. And I wrote back and I explained this is the sort of thing called a reality shift that I've experienced many times. Um, in fact, in my book, Reality Shifts When Consciousness Changes the Physical World, I've got a story that recounts an experience I had, not with a house and a horse, but with a very large sundial sculpture, which you can see here, over by the Berkeley Marina. And it was um, the first time it showed up. It, I had never seen it there before, but I was walking with a couple of my friends, Jan and Cliff, and we were out just um, having a regular walk that we would do before having brunch. <clears throat> and as we walked toward the Berkeley Pier, my friend Cliff asked, do either of you recall ever having seen a statue here before? And my friend Jan said, no, I don't. And I was so excited because this is exactly what I wanted to talk to them about, reality shifts. And so this was such a big sculpture that children climb on it. It's, it's about 10 feet tall, made of concrete, very heavy. It's not the kind of thing you can put in a truck and drive away and bring back or anything like that. And it's got a plaque on it, which made it look like it had been there for decades. In fact, it looked old. And the sundial, it's chipped, it's worn, and it bears this inscription. The peoples of the bountiful Pacific Ocean are brought together by the sweep of time. This sundial honors the citizens of Sakai, Japan, the sister city of Berkeley. United in warm friendship and goodwill, the peoples of Sakai and Berkeley strengthen mutual understanding and respect. And it goes on. But the point is, this was dated 1970, and I was witnessing all of this happening, um, you know, many, many years later, but having not ever seen that statue there before. And I know for sure it wasn't there, because we used to walk through an empty, um, kind of a, it's a big plaza, and it, there was a clear shot, a clear view of another sculpture that was there of a man, an archer on a horse, and we could always see that. Um, and now it was it's unobscured from view when you've got the sundials there, when it's not there. When it is there, you can't see the other sculpture. So it was a very striking apparition, and to my knowledge, that sundial sculpture is still there to this day. So what's going on? Why is it that sometimes we can see something as large as a house, a horse, or a sundial sculpture appear, disappear, um, transform, transport, all these things? Um, what I believe to be true is that basically we're witnessing quantum behavior on the macro scale. We expect to see things like quantum tunneling, quantum teleportation, and quantum entanglement on the very, very small scale. What's striking to us is that when we witness these very same phenomena, but on a macro scale, the very large. 
So this is something that we can think about when we're out in the world and looking around and noticing that if we feel like we're really in alignment with someone, we might be entangled with them. When we feel like sometimes we can go very far in a very short amount of time, we very well could be teleporting. Um, the kind of things that these quantum particles do, you would actually expect to see them on the macro scale occasionally. It's just one of those probability uh, curves. So it's not that far out of the usual, but it is unusual in the sense that it doesn't happen all the time. So these are things to think about, and I hope that you'll keep asking my favorite question, which is how good can it get when you're thinking about disappearing houses, <coughs> disappearing horses, and reality shifts. Until next time, this is Cynthia Sue Larson with realityshifters.com.